We have two important medical stories tonight. First, the case of a patient in Utah who contracted the Zika virus. What's interesting is it's not clear how it was transmitted. Dr. John LaPook is looking into this. Last month, an elderly man died in Utah after contracting Zika outside the United States. A son who helped care for him became infected despite having no recent travel to an area with active Zika and no sexual contact with an infected person. Utah officials say the 80s mosquitoes that spread the virus have not yet been found in Utah. So far, Zika has been shown to be spread by mosquitoes, sexual contact, and from mother to fetus, where it can cause devastating birth defects. Dr. Denise Jameson of the CDC says health officials are concerned with the possibility that infection was spread by close contact with body fluids. Based on this new information today, it's very important that people who are caring for critically ill patients avoid body fluids and uh, carefully wash their hands after contact with critically ill patients. Scott, it seems every week we learn something new about this virus.